Aloha Awina La. Welcome to Hawaii is my mainland, exploring the Hawaiian archipelago every Friday at 3 p.m. I'm Kaui Lucas. It was in the unlikely venue of an attorney's office in downtown Honolulu that I met Waimanalo native Matt Love. Mahalo Keakua and Mark Sklav for putting this beautifully unpretentious man where I could hear him. Yesterday, watching the mean-spirited Boycott Hawaii posts appearing after federal judge Doug Chin successfully blocked President Trump's revised travel ban, I realized Matt Love's story was the perfect response. The Department of Business, Economics and Tourism forecasts 9,079,709 tourists for Hawaii in 2017, a 1.5% increase over last year. While such growth is heavily subsidized by the government and generally applauded, we rarely pay attention to the collateral damages of tourism. Our inability to control who or how many U.S. citizens come to Hawaii, where and how long they stay, if they buy land or find jobs, displacing locals. This underlies most of Hawaii's problems. It is the elephant on the lanai. 25% of real estate sales in 2015 were to non-resident U.S. citizens. The Hawaii of Matt Love is what people flock to Hawaii to experience. And perhaps with innocent ignorance is what the traveling hordes are systematically extinguishing. But today, we celebrate that Hawaiians yet survive and Matt's music gives voice to the invisible ties to our ancestors through us and into the future. And where I begin, where I would go, wait only know, good times are around to bear. Get in my car, I'm going to fly, never coming back again. Far on the low mountain soul, far on the countryside. Birds on the wings forgetting the wild, so I'm heading for the windward side. Where all of your dreams sometimes be dancing, that I'm just along for the ride. Someday you cry because you pride for someone who loved your dad. Tired and worn, I woke up this morning, found that I was confused. I spun right around, found I have lost the things that I couldn't lose. The beaches they sell to build a hotel, but father and I was new. Birds on the long side light at dawn, singing by the yellow I've got all the meanings of it. So yeah. your your buddy Lico Martin wrote that song. Uh, yeah, a good friend of mine. 
and uh, we had our hard times and we hated changes as time went by. Once in a while we sit down and talk about it. And uh, it's sad that uh, we say no and they say yes, what can you do about it? Not very much. It really doesn't make sense at all. You know? Well, Liko has, has been doing whatever he could, certainly, yeah. <laughs> very actively. He and is. you have to, because you are keeping alive that precious thing, the culture, the music, yeah. and being true to your music, whether or not it's Hawaiian, because you do all kinds of things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Liko, Liko Martin is a very active person in in that Hawaiian culture is sound. Um, and he just against the changes that come in about, you know. And they build all kinds of things that just spoil our island, the beauty of the island. There's no more beauty as they keep on going, so. I agree with him. We, we both agree with one another. You know. So you keep um, adding beauty to the world every day with your music. Yeah. I I was very surprised to hear that um, the first about the first instrument you learned, the yeah. accordion. <laughs> oh yeah. Who would have thought an an accordion for a Waimanalo boy? Yeah, I always wanted to play an accordion, but I had no choice to go back to my second band, the guitar and the ukulele, so actually that's what we was brought up with, nothing else, just guitar and ukulele, because yeah. there was a thing I would say uh, that's the most cheapest instrument you can come across compared to the every other instrument that I know. How did you learn music? Well, How did you learn music? Well, it's a man upstairs that teaches me in dreams. My wife was leaving, she used to go crazy with me because I'm jumping out of bed about like two o'clock, one o'clock in the morning because I hear a melody, so I just have to give the guitar and try it. She shows me the head position and how to tune the guitar to hold such a position. I tell people that some of them don't believe it, I tell them it's okay. You believe what you want to do. Because <laughs> when they start thinking like that, you just let it go. You know, just continue what God gave you to make the world happy, make it beautiful with your song. So, if that's one of my gifts that was given to me to do that, right? So I will just continue on doing it. Can you play one of your original songs for us? My original? <laughs> well, you don't have to, but uh -huh. if you have one you would like to play. <laughs> okay, let me, uh, let me just do this number that, uh, like I was telling you that yesterday about getting conk in the head with the ukulele. Um, Mahanai sister and um, learning the song from her. I didn't care much for the song, but after a while I started to like it because at that age I was playing the rock and roll stuff that they have. Uh, after I got older, as I got along, you know, came along, 
I said you fall in love with yourself, and I always remember her about it. John Waihe'e, and I used to be a part of all the things that you might be angry at. I served in government here and may have made decisions that affects you. So I want to invite you in. I want to invite you in to talk story with me and some very special guests every other Monday here at Talk Story with John Waihe'e. Come on in, join us, express your opinion, learn more about your state, and then do something about it. Aloha. Hi, I'm Cheryl Crozier Garcia, the host of Working Together on Think Tech Hawaii. Join us every other Tuesday from 4 p.m. to 4.30 when we discuss the impact of change on employees, employers, and the economy. 
Welcome back to Hawaii is my Meilang. I'm Kaui Lucas here Fridays on Think Tech at 3, from 3 to 3.30. Today, we're doing something a little different. Thanks um, to Serendipity, Akua, I don't know. Um, Matt Love, who is an, I, I think of him as an endemic Hawaiian. He is a native of Waimanalo, and he's the kind of Hawaiian that really only exists in Hawaii and only survives in Hawaii. Um, obviously, he's a musician, and his life has been guided by his music. Um, he has no recordings, amazingly enough. Um, I couldn't even find a still picture of you on the internet. <laughs> Although there are some some videos, so Matt has a regular gig at Namea Hawaii, uh, which is the wonderful um, shop that sells things made by Hawaiians or in Hawaii anyway at Ward Warehouse. So Matt can be found at Namea Hawaii um, at Ward Warehouse um, on Fridays and Saturdays, sometime usually noon to four. He does have a few other gigs in town and um, you just have to be on your toes and check in with him because um, he doesn't have a Facebook page or a Twitter account. But he has a beautiful heart and um, amazing music. It was extraordinary as we were sitting in this office building in downtown Honolulu. <laughs> I'd never met this man, <laughs> and there's an attorney, I don't know, <laughs> sitting at the table saying, look, you should listen to him. I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, and then of course he was right, because after playing for about five minutes, I was ready to cry. This is the music that I know from my brothers who play music, who even though they're my brothers, they're 20 years older than me. So they're maybe around your age. <laughs> um, and it is what um, accompanies us in our in our life, in our in our dreams, as you as you mentioned. I hope someday, somehow, Matt will have an, the ability to record some of this music, because none of us lives forever. And besides, he's hard to find. <laughs> so I know you'd rather play music than talk. <laughs> but let's talk for just a little bit. Okay, Matt? Or not. Play another song if you'd rather. I know, right? You got a different song you want to hear. You know, um, I am kind of uh, stuck on the Queen's Jubilee, but I'm flexible. Mahalo. Okay, so I didn't pick the easiest 
Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think game? about it. It's just like, oh, what song do you want to hear? Ah. <laughs> So that was written by Lili Uokalani yeah. uh, to uh, celebrate the jubilee of Queen Victoria. And so she made it very royal yeah. and complicated yeah. and beautiful. <laughs> no, it's not really complicated. If you love uh, music as much as I do, nothing is complicated. You just bounce right through it. <laughs> you know, it's like how you have your talent, you just right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the same thing, or oh, it's a different fashion, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so being a, a, a Waimanalo native and resident, have you, have you always lived in Waimanalo your yes, whole life? Yes, all my life. Wow, okay. All my life, and I... I, I would be crazy to leave that place, you know. It's, I mean, it, it changes, it changes a lot, but I, you got so used to with the changes, but the while now the changes are so slow. And uh, I'm just waiting for the days when it stops. <laughs> 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 the changes stop. And I think it would be the greatest day of all of us, you know. Well, Although it's still a country, but uh, as a slight changes, it, it's a big thing. Well, let's think of changes we'd like to see and then work towards those. Uh, instead of, you know, sometimes there can be good changes. Yeah. Um, we haven't seen a lot of those. Um, in Waimanalu too recently? I'm trying to think of one. Um, well, the roads are better than they were a few years ago, <laughs> but is that a good thing or not? Oh, the, the farmers, the co-op, that's nice. Yeah. That's pretty good, right? Oh, yes, uh, yes, the farmers, yeah. Yeah. That's so pretty good. There's uh, more farmers in Waimanalu growing food than, than there were 10 years ago or so. That's just there's quite a bit of about the women are doing the same thing. You know, they're looking forward to the future as far as food consumption and so forth. He said if they don't do it, we'd be in bad shape, you know. But do you grow food too? Huh? You go you grow too? No, my icebox is out in the ocean. <laughs> so you fish? Yeah, ah. it's in the ocean. What kind of fishing? Uh, so you? it's in the mountain too, you know. We have refrigerator both sides. So. <laughs> <laughs> so it's okay. Well, um, <clears throat> believe it or not, we're almost to the end, but I would like a, a, another song. Okay. So it's up to you. Oh. Oh, 
आहे ही वाही पदाओ आहे ले बाऊगो <laughs> we have we have less than a minute. Uh, I just I am so profoundly grateful um, for you to be sharing so generously with us here. Um, I hope I get to hear you play many, many, many more times again. Next time, next time, next time in Waimanalo. Yeah. I just had a little chat with Jay, and he gave me the thumbs up on a little project. So. We'll be talking about that after the show. Okay. So, okay. Mahalo, Denise. You are welcome. Mm -hmm.